in conclusion, this is the conclusion of our debate. I will be addressing um, our opponents, uh, opponents' regards in, according to our claims. <clears throat> And their, their main arguments revolve around the fact that we didn't give any definitions and therefore our, um, our claims are not um, considerable. First of all, inhumane, cruel, are those things that you should really define, those you can find in the Webster's Dictionary or whatever dictionary, and there is a definition there, a direct definition. I don't think I have to give a definition for what is inhumane and what is cruel. Um, and my, another one that my um, my opponent pointed out was that last the last century the direct results were directly from animal testing. Well, the last century only a fraction of that century did we have alternative um, practices for finding cures for animals. Therefore, that's why we had most of our discoveries from animal testing. But they have failed to point out that um, why animal testing is still necessary with all these alternatives present. Um, all they um, attacked was the fact that um, yes, they, aren't being, they are re being regulated and that um, they live in good conditions, but as I said before, there are examples where they're still not being treated equally and the law doesn't always um, provide for that. <clears throat> and then they also pointed out that animals do not have feelings, nor do they have, they feel pain, when in fact we're using animals for, psych, uh, for our, our, our psycholo uh, psychological models. So um, they're feeling the pain, they're feeling the stress. They might not be thinking, oh, what am, oh um, what's my math homework today? What's my English homework today? Um, philosophical things. But they do have feelings and they do have a sense of pain. <clears throat> and my opponents also pointed out that our sources were invalid because PETA and human um, and all those other things that we cited were too extreme. Well, first of all, the evidence that we got were not from PETA. They were from other sources. And the fact that I said, uh, that we said that these organizations are growing um, is, makes that invalid. When in fact, these extreme, um, extreme organizations are growing and people are supporting them, meaning they're no longer gonna be extreme. People are starting to see that there's things that are wrong in animal testing and, and animal cruelty. <clears throat> So overall, our, um, our opponents have failed to point out that animal testing is still necessary. Therefore, their um, arguments are invalid. They address cruelty and other topics that we said, yes, but why should we continue animal testing if the necessity is non-existent, especially when there are, there's a push for change evident in um, people, and I mean, how many nowadays, like, do you know, of people that have pets, they take them straight to the veterinarian, uh, the veterinarian, and we even bury our pets. So I think pretty much we treat them as humans, and we treat them as such. <clears throat> Therefore, if we, since we're seeing this push for change, and there are better uh, alternatives now, why waste any more animal um, lives when we can find better alternatives and better cures for humans through other, um, through other things? Thank you.